morning. It is, um, well, what time is it here? 6.36. I'll show up there. And um, I've got my uh, oldest under the bus. My husband's off to work. And I'm going to make a cup of tea while I go get my middle child ready for kindergarten. And I have been very sick. I've had a bad cold. So I'm just starting to get over that. But uh, I am going to make a cup of this Canadian A from Tea by Daniel. And the weird thing about this tea, you know, the um, directions or the ingredients don't say, but goodness, I won't focus. We'll try this. So the ingredients don't say anything about pineapple. It just says black tea, oil of bergamot, vanilla, safflower petals. But there's little pieces of pineapple in it, so I don't know. And I don't, yeah, I'm not sure on that one, but um, I am heating up my water in my Breville. I already heated it up once, but um, I got busy and then didn't make the cup yet. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I am going to make right Okay, so my tea is done, and I've been loving this little Starbucks Valentine's mug. It's super cute. Uh, yeah, so that's my first cup. I thought yeah, I'd take you guys around with me today and uh, do like a follow me around. So I'll be back. Well, I am getting ready to go take my little one to speech therapy. It's about 8.30. Uh, I am making one of these um, jade leaf matcha lattes. It's the turmeric ginger. I'm hoping it'll be like a chai. And uh, turmeric is so good for you, anti-inflammatory, um, just a host of health benefits. And this also has um, acacia, acacia fiber, um, so it's got the prebiotic fiber, which is supposed to be good too. So we're going to try these. They have a couple different health-oriented um matcha infusions that I'm kind of curious about, but we're going to try this one. So I put in here a half cup of water, half cup of milk. I used the macadamia milk. I have, um, I actually used the rest that I had. I found this at Aldi's on a special buy and I really liked it. It's 50 calories for a cup and it was really good. So I put in half a cup of that, half a cup of water. I'm putting in some ice. And it does say on the package here to, um, one cup milk, one packet, and then one teaspoon honey or a sweetener of choice. So I I don't want the calories necessarily, um, but I don't know. I may use some of this. I'm going to try it first, though, and see if I need the sweetness. Because it, you know, it may not need it. I hate to always jump right to sugar. Oh, yeah. I think it needs a needs a little something, something. So, put some a couple pumps in there, and uh, it actually tastes pretty good. So, I'm going to be doing an in-depth review about this one, but I'm going to drink this and try it and see what I think. So been so cold here you can see the ice on the, the prairie grass it's just uh, it's really beautiful the way it kind of sparkles in the sunlight I just thought that was so pretty driving out to take my little one to speak so I'm just sitting here <clears throat> waiting for my little one to get out of speech she's just got a few minutes left um, but uh, I was going to report this matcha, the turmeric one, is actually really good. Um, I like it quite a lot. The spice really comes through. The turmeric is not terribly intense. Um, 
And I would say it, it is definitely a, a more mellow flavor. I'm not getting a lot of the matcha there, but um, it actually tastes pretty good. So I'm going to be filming a review, like I said, on that um, probably for next Matcha Monday. Um, but I've been so sick, like my, um, from blowing my nose, like right here, so sore. I had to like put a ton of concealer on it to hide it. Um, but I have to go run and do a quick errand today and then I'm going to go home. I have to do a couple things to film and then, um, I'm just going to try to take it easy because I tell you, it's just been, I don't know if it's like flu or what, but I had a fever and a cough and runny nose and, um, congestion and it's all kind of still there. <clears throat> it's slowly getting better, but, and then I went to, I got so sick. Uh, I don't generally like to take any medication at all, even ibuprofen. I tend to um, just kind of, I just don't like to do that. But it got so bad, um, I did finally tell my husband, I said, I've got to go to Walgreens and get some Sudafed or <coughs> something for me. And so, um, if anybody knows me, I... I generally, um, I don't mind going someplace without makeup. I do that all the time. I just usually am kind of presentable for you guys on camera, but um, I do that all the time. Uh, you know, go out without being made, but I, I never would wear pajamas. And honestly, if I see people wearing pajamas in the stores, I'm generally like, uh, you know, I would never say anything to anybody, but I always wonder why they do that. But I can see why somebody does that because I was so sick on Sunday, I literally just put my coat on and my shoes. <laughs> it was a hot mess. I was so sick. And I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I, I, so I could see why people do that now because, you know, for whatever reason. Um, but I was so sick. I'm like, I don't care. And my husband, he was like, you're going out in your pajamas. Like he couldn't believe it. Cause he knows how I am. And I said, I, I'm like, said, I'm so sick. I, I'm not even going to get dressed <laughs> so um yeah that's how sick I was but and then you know you go to buy it and they have to take your ID and so they scanned my driver's license and because uh, <clears throat> the 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 Sudafed um is behind the counter so they scanned my ID and then they said well um it's saying I can't sell it to you I said He's like, have you already bought some? I'm like, no. I'm like, I haven't bought Sudafed in probably five years, if maybe longer. And then he was like looking at me. And then I said, there's got to be a mistake. And he scans it again, and then it works fine. So it's like, he just scanned something wrong. I don't know what he did. Ugh. I was just like, seriously. But it's become, <coughs> excuse me, such a bad deal with people using the Sudafed, I guess, to make methamphetamines or something like that, that, you know, you feel like a criminal when you go in to get cold medicine. And this guy could tell by looking at me, I mean, I was sick, but, you know, um, anyway, so I felt kind of like a criminal getting my cold medicine. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to go pick up my little one and after an errand, I forgot to mail out the garbage bill. We live in a rural area, so I, we don't have like a city garbage pickup. I have to pay an actual garbage company to come pick it up. And so I got the email with the invoice and I forgot to mail it because I don't mail anything anymore. It's all electronic. So I've got to actually run the check over to them. So it's not a big deal. But but that is about my own errand. And then I'm going to come back home and film. And I'll show you what other teas I drink in the day. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. So I'll cut, touch, check back in with you guys here in just a bit. So I just got home and as you can tell everything's pretty pretty cold and frozen but I'm actually going to get ready um, in that little trash bin there I've got uh, we store salt and so when we come in <clears throat> it's like a little kind of hill and the lake's right there and I'm always terrified 
that I'm going to like go crashing into the lake <laughs> with the ice. So um, I'm going to go, I sprinkle salt on this up here um, to every time I come and go, I sprinkle salt in hopes that it's going to um, melt some of this. And you know, this is just one of the things we deal with, with living kind of in the country rural area um we uh you know we have to kind of be self-reliant and take care of things and uh yeah so that's what i'm going to do now is go do some salting over there but it's awfully pretty when it's icy but um it's awfully cold too. okay so it's about one o'clock and i had a hankering for something sweet so I thought I would actually just make um, a latte so then you know it kind of feels indulgent but not with that many calories um, so when I was getting out the O Canada earlier I did um, realize that I've got a lot of this whole tin is full of lemon pound cake I'm not a huge fan I feel like the oolong base I just don't love in this so I've been trying to use it up so I have some of that in my steeper and I add, what I do when I make this, I add lemongrass to it to kind of enhance the lemon flavor in it. Um, so I'm putting my water on for 195 for an oolong and I'll only steep this one for um, three minutes. <clears throat> but that is what I'm making now. Okay, so I am frothing some oat milk to put into there and you can see those oolong leaves kind of unfurl uh, I don't know if you can see it too well the lids in the way but yeah so this is what we're gonna have milks steeping or frothing I noticed so this is the arrow latte that I got from Jade Leaf it didn't dawn on me until after after I unbox that that is the same Macho West David's Tea is selling for $20 so they must be able to customize it with like an individual um, like a brand or whatever so I mean it says Jade Leaf on there so the Davis T one, I'm assuming, says Davis T. But so I got that for free with their promotional deal with their modern matcha set. That set retails for $14.99. You get the air latte plus a matcha whisk and a matcha spoon and a matcha guide. And Davis T is selling that air latte by itself for $20. I thought that was kind of crazy. So we're gonna put our frothed oat milk into there and there we have our uh, lemon pound cake okay so I just put in um, to cold steep I'm gonna cold steep the remaining uh, remainder of this package of um, tequila from tea by Daniel it's actually really good it's got a nice coconut flavor really like that one so uh, we're gonna cold steep that in uh, here and I've talked about this bottle before but it is phenomenal um, for cold steeping it's the Hario cold steeping bottle bird and blend sells one but I got mine off of Amazon um, bird and blend just gets theirs customized with their logo um, but you can get them much cheaper off Amazon here in the States um, so uh, I am doing that and uh, um, this will go in the refrigerator, and I'm just going to let this kind of cold steep all day. It'll be ready at dinner. And I made this one specifically because um, I'm making a cilantro lime chicken. I'm actually going to get ready to put that in for to marinade. And so um, I thought this would be a good complement to the chicken dish. Um, I've got a book, actually several books, and... and um, one of the big things, especially if you're studying like to be a tea sommelier, which um, I have 
contemplated and I've kind of just been studying on my own, not an official um, organized, you know, education set up for Team Samale, but just learning what I can learn on my own because there's so many resources online, um, an infinite amount of resources to read and learn about tea. But that's to me right now, I, I think as you progress in your tea journey, um, and let, actually I'll go here in the library and so I keep my um, tea books just kind of stacked up here um, these are some of them I actually have a couple more that um, I have by my desk area that I've been reading but it is um, a lot of the books especially this T. Samalay one goes into detail about how um, learning to pair certain foods with the teas. And so that's really, I think, to me, as I've progressed with tea, and now that's kind of like the next facet that I'm particularly interested to explore is the pairings, tea and food pairings. Um, because there are definitely some teas that go better with others, you know, go better with food than others. So that is what I um, am kind of working on. But yeah, we've just got a variety of um, different books and things. So, uh, but yeah, so that is what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm gonna so I am now making a cup of Earl Grey and I am still working uh, on this Tivana one. And this was completely full to the tap when I got, when I had it, when I originally filled it a while ago. Uh, but I am almost done with it. It's, it's getting down and I'm actually going to be sad because this is a solid Earl Grey. Um, it's actually really nice. So it's got a, a good amount of bergamot to it, which I appreciate. So I'm going to steep that up for three minutes and that's